Windows Live Mail is a free program that lets you send and receive email. It works with most email addresses, including those from Hotmail, Google's Gmail, Yahoo Mail, and many other popular email services. Here's the catch. Since Windows 7 doesn't come with an email program, Microsoft wants you to download Windows Live Mail and install it onto your computer. Here's what to do. First, visit the Windows Live website and download the Windows Live Essentials installation program. You want to save the installation program in your Downloads folder, accessible from every folder's navigation pane along the left edge. Double-click the installation program in your Downloads folder. It'll be named WL Setup Web. Windows 7 may get alarmed at a program trying to install itself and toss up a warning screen. Just click Yes to allow the installation to begin. Choose the Windows Live programs you want to install and click Install. Microsoft is kind of sneaky. It tries to make you install all of its live programs. If you don't want all of them, just uncheck the programs you don't want, but be sure to leave the check mark next to the mail program. Click Install and then go get a cup of coffee. Finally, you'll see this page. Microsoft tries to set your internet search provider to its own live search, and it wants to set your browser's home page to the Microsoft Network, MSN. If you're happy with your current choices, remove the check marks from those two checkboxes. Click Continue. Now, if you need an email address or want an additional one, click Sign Up to create a Windows Live email address. If you already have an email address, just click Close. When you're through, the Windows Live Mail icon appears on your Start menu, and you're ready to set it up. If you don't see the icon, choose All Programs, click the Windows Live Mail folder, and click the Windows Live Mail icon that lurks inside. Windows Live Mail hops onto the screen. No matter what email address you own, Windows Live Mail needs you to type in three things. Your email address, your email password, which you probably created when you signed up for an account, or you may have gotten it from your internet service provider, along with your username. Either way, it's probably case sensitive. If you don't want to enter it each time, check Remember Password. And your display name. That's what shows up in the From text box from all your email, so most people just type in their real name. If you signed up for a Windows Live account, or if you're using Hotmail, click Next, and you're done. If you're using a different email address, you need to manually configure the settings and then click Next. You need to fill in information about your incoming and outgoing mail server as well as a login ID. This is the hardest part of the setup. You need to know the server's name, what it supports, and there are a host of other confusing settings. Some internet providers will give you the settings and instructions. If you don't have them, go to the internet service provider's website and look for the support section. If you still can't find the info, call their tech support. Another good source of information is the Windows 7 for Dummies book.